All right, so goal here is to take the cutscene and experiment with a trigger in Game Creator. Um, so triggers make things happen at certain times. And so I have in this scene this spotlight which kind of shines on the captain's chair. And, and the idea here is that the captain's a real egotist. So when he's sat in his chair, he wants a big spotlight on him. So I want that to turn on automatically. So it's off most of the time. But when the captain is walking down, as he gets to somewhere about here, I want it to turn on. So I've never used a trigger in Game Creator before. So let's see how we go. So under director, this is where I put all of the things that uh, uh, kind of the director is telling people to do. So under here, I'm going to put a, I guess, an empty game object, and I'll call it the spotlight trigger. And we're going to want a collider on this. So I'll put a box collider in here. And we're going to want it here. So... Let me see, it's near the markers 1, so let's grab the position of marker 1 and paste that into the spotlight. I'm not sure if there's easier ways of doing this in Unity, I'm still learning many things. Uh, let's not have it rotated and let's bring it back here. It's about there, I said, didn't I? And then we want to scale the collider appropriately. Okay. And we want it to be a trigger. All right. Actually, you know, I think I probably didn't want to do that thinking about it. I could have just clicked up here. Let's see what happens when I click up here. Uh, hotspot, actions, conditions, triggers. Uh, oh, it's, it's added a, a, a trigger Oh, below this object. Okay and it's added a sphere controller to that so what i'm going to do then is i'm just going to add a trigger script to the previous one so i can presumably do that here trigger there we go oh you can have them on different platforms interesting change trigger uh, object on collision enter on collision exit so we want it on player enter that's nice so i don't have to set anything up and then presumably i can yep i can add an action here i don't have an action so what i'm going to do is for the spotlight i'm going to add an action here okay running background add actions don't want to move i want to Activate, set active, there it was. Oh, that's not quite going to be ideal. What I really want is for the actions to be on their own objects so I can use them individually. So I'm going to copy that and then delete it. I'm going to need it underneath here. Create empty. So uh, activate action and then paste that component into here. Paste is new, there we go. And it's going to be that game object. Uh, so let's see if that works. Once this starts up, I can. There we go. Don't you I think a carpet in here would button. liven things up? And it works. Okay. I'm an interstellar so, spaceship. We don't need a carpet. Uh, we are. Ex let's now wire those two actions up. This isn't going to be able to turn it off, but we can at least turn it on so let's try that now let's click play and this time i'm not going to hit the action but i'm just going to wait until a character has walked past the in here would liven things up i'm an interstellar spaceship we don't need a carpet we yes a excellent so it works so now we can't turn it off with that so actually what i want to do is toggle the light switch so that if he then walks back uh, it will turn it off. So in order to do that, I'm going to need a conditional. I didn't think I was going to use conditionals. So maybe another video because that's short enough. Hey, I'm the editor. I'm going to be doing the intros and outros for these videos from now on. Anyway, making the light be triggered outside of a timeline over using game creator actions 
means that the light will still turn on even outside of the cutscene, such as when the player is in control. So that approach to doing the light was cool, but not very eco-friendly, as the light would never turn off. In the next video, we will be covering how to use conditionals to make the light turn both on and off.